Hi, in today's tutorial I will show you how once the camera animations are set and ready for rendering you can uh, firstly create a quick screen preview so you can check how they look beforehand so let's start first by going to tools and here preview grab viewport create preview animation the shortcut is shift plus v here what we do is change to custom range the preview so that uh, we have the whole animation here from 0 to 180 in this case as the three animations are each 180 frames here uh, in this category we check all the things that will be visible uh, in the preview window so what we need is geometry we don't need the uh, uh, cameras or uh, whites or anything else so we can uncheck uh, the other thing and leave only geometry uh, the playback speed will be 30 frames per second and we will render each frame uh, the percent of output we can change it to 100 so we have the uh, resolution that uh, will be the final animation rendered here uh, in, we should change the visual style from high quality to standard as in high quality sometimes uh, 3ds max tends to freeze or drop and to avoid such uh, uh, mistakes and uh, drawbacks we use the standard option here in the preference we can choose the the way the uh, preview animation will be rendered should it be in clay or uh, wireframe or whatever i prefer the default shading because this will be uh, the way we see it here in the viewport uh, you can check the edged faces option but uh, then a lot of lines and uh, this uh, this way it looks much nicer we will leave the textures on and in the output we choose the location uh, where uh, the animations should be saved so the first camera i prefer uh, to be saved in a jpeg sequence and the first camera will be named uh, cam0 to and press save we untick play when done as this is a jpeg sequence and we choose from this drop down menu the cameras so camera 2 and press create You see how quickly uh, the render is happening. Let's do the same for the other two cameras. There is no need for the whole animations to be rendered for several days. To find out uh, at the end that uh, the camera is moving too slow or too fast, that there can be some weird movement or uh, you can skip a part of the animation and uh, save on render time or any other type of mistake that could have been avoided and you can minimize the rendering of your scenes now once all the cameras are rendered let's go to the post-production software of your choice like in this case it's after effects and import all the videos once they're imported let's create a composition and adjust its settings so each uh, uh, animation is six seconds long and the three of them will be 18 seconds long so now we can 
adjust the whole animation and check how it looks. And if we are satisfied, we can render it this way in a short clip or we can make some adjustments and rearrangements to be uh, satisfied. We can even reverse some of the frames so the movement is in the opposite direction. Once we are satisfied, we can render the final uh, sequence in a mp4 file and send it to a client. Also, you can quickly check this way how the combination of all the cameras will look in a final composition and add new ones or delete or adjust the current sequence. You can as well send such preview clips to your clients for additional feedback and corrections. And you can see how quickly And you can see how quickly it's rendering and how quickly you can have a preview of your animation for discussions and checking and adjustments. Let's preview it. And once all the adjustments are made and you are satisfied with the result, you can render your final animation. If you did enjoy anything in this video, then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up next that you don't wanna miss. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.